Pune, the sprawling city known as Oxford of the East, is the cultural capital of Maharashtra. It is also popular for its temperate climate. It is one of the fastest growing cities in the Asia-Pacific region. Wadze, situated on the bank of Mutha River, has catchment area in the western hills that brings along fertile soil and sufficient water for the After 1970, the area has gone through a lot of changes with significant increase in population. From a village, Wadze has turned into a suburb. The central government, led by Prime Minister Narendra Modi, took a significant and ambitious step to increase the green cover on barren lands. The project, Urban Forest, then started under the able guidance of Mr. Prakash Zavadekar, Minister for Environment, Forest and Climate Change, Government of India. The Forest Department, Government of Maharashtra, extended great help to this project in all possible ways. The total area of the hill is around 16.8 hectares. Until some years ago, the hill was totally barren and was used as a dump yard by the residences in its It was eventually encroached, stressing on the need of creating a balance between development and environment conservation. Big corporates like Tata Motors and Persistent Foundation extended their support to NGO working for environment. Ter Policy Center, a Pune-based NGO, donated funds of seven to eight feet high for the project. Public-private participation as seen in Varze is the best example of this PPP initiative. That's how Smriti One came into existence. A number of citizens have planted and adopted trees in the memory of their loved one. During the years 2015 to 2017, a total of 9,500 trees of 7 to 8 feet high were planted in the area under CSR initiative. Presently, the same trees have grown to 20 to 30 feet high. The neglected land is now transformed with a rich biodiversity of 23 plant, 29 bird, 15 butterfly, 10 reptile and 3 mammal species. The project also helps in absorbing approximately 1,29,000 kg carbon dioxide and producing 5,62,000 kg oxygen per year. There are five water ponds that fulfill the need of watering the plants. To ensure water supply for the plants in dry seasons, water tankers are presently pressed into service. However, with improving ground water level over the years, the area will have surplus water for use by others also in the near future. The number of visitors to Varze Smriti One has increased tremendously since the last couple of years and currently more than 1,500 visitors come for daily morning and evening walk. This patch of green forest is turning out to be a boon for nature lovers. Undoubtedly, the project Urban Forest is helping in maintaining the ecological balance, serving both environmental and social development goals. It is a step in the right direction towards bettering the life of the generations to come. Cities have gardens, but no forests. 
This is the beginning of creating 200 forests in the next couple of years under the Nagar 1 scheme.